Well, how are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stop Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Uh, yeah. That's, that's good. You helped. We'll talk later. The mission failed. Oh, he helped. Of I course he did. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Don't worry. I know I am too. Jenkins will be missed. We'll talk later. Soldiers... Why do you keep trying to make me not talk to him? Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. No kidding. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Uh, don't worry about it. Seems like you've been around. Keep it to yourself. No, let's let's see what he has to you say. Got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. <laughs> Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Hmm, let's see. We were farmers. I'm not imp it's or I'm not important. Yes, I'm not important at all. It's not important right now. I'm in it for the action. We were farmers. My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right, a coup. <laughs> Thanks for I remembering. I that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? Sure. We want to we want to brief the council. I can't say. Just follow your orders. No, I'm not going to be... Of course he can know. The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. You bet. You bet, man, we will. Okay. Uh... We can talk to Dr. Chalkwis. He doesn't have anything else to say, right? Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. No, he's just gonna be boring. Okay, hello. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Let's chat. Personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too <sighs> safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. <laughs> but humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I totally understand. Captain Anderson. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. Uh. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares My headset about the people cord. under his command. Okay. I got it under control. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Captain Anderson is on. Captain Anderson is awesome. We got it. Okay, Caden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Ooh. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. An L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Complications? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I love how we're, like, talking about him and he's just, like, right over there. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. Yeah, get used to hearing that line. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust this headset just a little bit because it's being weird. Come on, adjust. There we go. Okay, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. 
The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. You didn't even know him. He'll be missed. Soldiers die. Why do you keep giving me that option? Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. <laughs> yeah. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Why? What makes you think that? Hold on. I have to adjust this. My, the cable is getting caught in my legs. It's annoying. Okay. Um, you earned it. Soldiers die again. <laughs> You earned it, You're Ashley. A good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Alright, let's ask her the same question I asked Caden. How are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. That's what he said, but too. things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Ah, uh, you helped. The mission failed. This is like the exact same conversation I just had with Caden. <sighs> we couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Ah, well, I'll do just that. Don't worry. Glad to have you. I should go. Don't disappoint me. Yeah, don't disappoint me, Ashley, or we'll kick you off. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Yay! Okay. Everybody's happy. Except Jenkins. He's kind of dead. Can I- can I go in here? Yes, I can. What's in here? Oh, Captain Anderson. Should I bother him? Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, I never checked if- what Ashley will say now. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge, Commander. Yeah, yeah, that's what Caden told me. And what Anderson told me. Everyone's just telling me the same thing. Ooh. We can go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Wee. Ooh, we're loading. We're loading something. Very slowly. Okay. Go. Step out of the elevator. Thank you. Let's see, what do we got? Alright. To change a squad member's equipment, target the, the member's locker and press E. Okay, I don't actually need to change anyone's equipment right now. Alright, let's see. We can inspect the car. Yay! I got a codex entry for the Mako. Okay, uh, what's down here? Ooh. Oh, look. It's an engineer. Let's talk to him. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Oh, you're boring. Okay. Another codex entry. I didn't see what that one was for, though. Maybe he'll be more interesting later. We'll come back and pay you another visit. Let's see. Yeah, this guy over here... Um is for buying and selling stuff, but I'm not going to chat to with him just yet. Let's go back upstairs. Go back upstairs. That was awkward. <laughs> I had to press the button on that side and then she randomly just like flipped around. Alright, let's go. Oh, loading again. Okay. You can do that. Just don't be too slow about it. I think I'm about done here. They're all just going to remind me that I need to go and talk with Joker. So let's go upstairs. Open the door. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of loading going on here. Uh, that should be, yes, the talking place. Let's see. Examine the FTL comlink. Okay. I examined it. Okay. Navigator Presley. Does he have anything to say to me, or he's just going to tell me to go and talk to Joker, too? you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Well, thank you. What's this? Galaxy map. Wait, what? Something is... 
I can't actually access the galaxy map right now. Unfortunately. Ooh, something here. Nav manual 1.4.1. Examine. Just going around and examining everything. Alright, there's some dudes talking. Or not talking, but typing. Uh, Joker. Hello. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. <laughs> Woohoo! Off we go. Yay! Look at that taxpayer money. It is very big. <laughs> <laughs> 